Hey guys, it's Brian with Center Consoles Only. Today, we have a treat for you. We're over here at the Edgewater booth in Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We're on the 370cc. Now this is a huge boat. We're gonna give you a quick walkthrough, show you some of the really nice features of this thing, and we hope you like it. So if we start at the bow, we've got anchor locker storage. We've actually got a windlass in there. Got all the creature comforts. You've even got a freshwater wash down in there, which is really nice to have at the front of the boat. You've got a massive amount of seating, fully electric ta uh, table, which we'll go ahead and show you right here a little bit as the table comes down. Now we'll leave that right there. And we look at this lounge seating up here at the front, which is enormous. Go ahead and move that cushion out of the way. You'll see that there is also a cup holder and a phone charging station in there. So they've really figured out the creature comforts are what are necessary on a boat of this size. Now, you'll also notice you've got a jail audio sub, jail audio speakers here as well. So the sound is gonna be of premium quality and there's no question you're gonna have a, a great time. If you look up, you'll also see great shade here. So we've got a forward shade that extends from the console all the way up to the bow. I mean, if you're trying to get away from the sun, this is definitely the boat for you. We'll make it around the console there and we're gonna show you probably one of my favorite parts of this boat. We're gonna come around in here, and Danny, if you follow me, we're going into this huge berth. So we have plenty of space to sleep, two adults, and a whole group of kids if we wanted to. We've also got a nice sink, a little refrigerator, television, microwave. I mean, you've got it all in here, as well as a combo shower, toilet, sink area which is really nice it's got a retractable hose uh sink hose which is actually your shower nozzle as well we're gonna go ahead and back out of here take a look at the console itself the helm itself we notice we've got two 16 inch garments we've got all boca tech switching really really nice setup carbon fiber edson wheel nice touch and you've got the optimus 360 steering this is awesome because it's going to give you your joystick control getting into a marina getting out of the marina it's going to be really really easy really easy to navigate in the event that someone who is not used to driving this boat has to drive the boat in whatever conditions and we'll go ahead and move on here we've got three captain's chairs adjustable captain's chairs adjustable we've got looks like some storage underneath here as well really nice oh, this is actually Oh, look at that. What do we got? Great idea. If you are vertically challenged, as I may be, this gives you a much higher position. And even though the console, the helm is not very tall, this gives you a way better stance. So I really like that idea and appreciate that from Edgewater. As we move back, you see we have a very large dive door here as well. We have some in floor storage, I believe. I'm gonna open this up. That is a big fish box. Definitely big fish box. You've got one on both sides of the vessel. And we're gonna go ahead and look back here and see what we've got in the floor. We've got bilge access, battery access. I mean, you've got access to all your main components. Make sure you can service it extremely easily. Now, one cool feature we have besides this retractable seat and this nice grill. It's got some food on the grill, apparently. We've got a sink back here and the piece de resistance. We have a Seakeeper 3 gyro stabilizing system. So not only is she plenty fast, going to have plenty of storage space, but she also will keep you nice and stable when you're out there in rough seas. The Sea Keeper, if you know, is able to reduce or eliminate up to 95% of the roll on a boat, which is usually what causes the seasickness. So we can appreciate that quite a bit. If you look back here on the starboard side, you'll notice that you have shore power connections. That's going to be when you get to the marina, just connect up to shore power. You can charge all your batteries on board. And you have a massive live well here in the transom, also accompanied with a sink and the secondary live well as well. In tons of space, tons of storage, great for the bait. 
Now this one is, I believe, triple 350 powered, three, triple 350 Yamaha powered. And one really nice feature is that you can actually get back here to the transom and go ahead and service the, the engines. Total access, non-skid on here, so you know you're not gonna have a safety issue. Really, really nicely done by Edgewater. Also, tons of rock holders on the transom as well. Guys, this 370cc is also equipped with a second station on top of its carbon fiber hardtop, which is a really neat feature. You're gonna have a lightweight hardtop, but it's also gonna have a super amount of strength. Uh, and that dual station has all the same comforts of the standard helm. You're gonna have the Optima 360 steering, or joysticks rather, uh, up there as well. Really, really nice feature on this boat. Definitely feels larger than the name implies. Uh, definitely come check it out. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us Instagram at center consoles only. My name is Brian. Have a great day.